Hi, my name is Paul and I'm one of the uh, implementation consultants here at Kick. So in this video, I will show you a solution for your team to track their time and link them to the project. So in this setup, we have a high level board where you have your projects. We also have a low level board for the task of your team and we have a contacts board um, it's a database of our um, clients their company their details and as well as we have a dashboard that shows us the workload the numbers the number of hours of each project client and also a comparison between um, actual and um, the projected hours so the setup will start with uh, an intake so for example you have a form uh, or let's say a work form uh, a monday work form and then uh, when someone submits using that form it creates a project in this high level board so let's say we have a new request that is uh, video editing for a company a all right uh, let's say we already have company A, let's say company A, B, C. All right. And their due date, let's say, is by next uh, two weeks. Okay. And we, let's say, we have an automation that links to a contact person. Uh, let's say this is uh, Paul R. That's the contact person. And that works for company A, B, C. And his email is paul at paulr.com. All right, so we have all the information that we need. And let's say that we will be assigning this to your team. So let's say I'll be the one leading this and I'll be creating the scope or the task or the milestones for this project. So let's say this is a milestone one or task or whatever a scope and then uh let's say this is a editing uh scope and the next milestone is let's say milestone two is the scripting uh uh yeah scripting uh and then let's let's just go with those two and i'll be assigning that to the person that will be doing those tasks and I'll be adding as well on uh, the due dates for that task and then I'll change the status to assign so I have an automation here that will create the item to the low level board as you can see it created those two items and link them over to this column so that we will have a visual of the status from that board and the projected projected hours as well as the total billable hours okay so let's say the projected hours for milestone one is only five hours for scripting let's say two hours all right if i'm um if i'm paul the one assigned to the task I will see here on my low level board that something is assigned to me and that is due on January 5th, January 8th and the projected hours are these hours. All right, so I will, uh, we can have a notification that um, when something is assigned to a person that sends out an email. So I'll be notified and I'll go here. So let's say I'm going to start working on, uh, let's say the scripting first. So I'll be doing the scripting. All right, I'll just put in a short description of the task. And then I'll be uh, putting the logged hours, which is today. And then I'll sign it to myself and I'll link that to the project. So I'll know the project name by this one. So as you can see, I did multiple uh, manual steps just to have or just to log my hour um, but all of these can be automated 
uh, using Zapier or Make. As of now, it's not possible to automate this using uh, Monday's native automation. So, but yeah, that's possible to automate. But let's continue with the demo. Um, let's say I've spent, I've already done the scripting and I've spent only an hour and uh, I'm already done with this one, right? And the next one is the editing. Let's say I'll be doing the editing now and I'll do that same steps. Uh, log date is today log by me and i'll be linking it to the project so i'll let's say i've spent the projected hours is five hours i've spent let's say three hours only all right so if i'm if i'm the leader or the manager of paul i will see here that okay he's done the scripting part with this status and he spent one hour instead of the two hours so i've I have a visual already uh, of um, what's happening on the task. So this one right here, uh, let's say he spent three hours, um, but it's not yet complete in there, right? So if I'm Paul and I'll be editing, let's say I've spent already three hours, but I'm still not done. I'll be doing it again tomorrow. Um, so I'll be logging another entry here for tomorrow. Let's say it's already tomorrow and I've spent another hour. So that makes it four hours now here on the total. And I'll be linking this to myself and to the project as well. So we've spent four hours in total. And if we go back to the high level board, that updates um, my time in here as four hours. All right, so it will automatically add up the hours as your team are adding their hours. So let's say we've completed the task. That will also update in here as completed, as you can see. And that updates the status to done on the main status for that item. All right, so that's the uh, process of how your team can be logging their hours and now let's go to the reporting side um, this is the dashboard that will give us an overview of the workload of your team since uh, let's say for that example of that project um, we logged the hour uh, for January 3 right so it's this day as you can see we have scripting here one hour and then editing on that day, three hours. So it add up uh, to this day since I've uh, created another uh, other tasks. So in total for this day, I have 33 hours logged. So, but I have another one that was logged on January 4, which is one hour. And that was added automatically here. And this day, as, as you can see, I have one hour logged in here. So this is a great way for you to manage um, the workload of your team. So if it shows red, that means that person is already overloaded for that day. So since um, the capacity of this person is only 40 hours a week, um, if you divide that to a five working day, that's eight hours a day. And since the the you know, the logged hours for this day is 10 hours it will now show us red same here that says 33 hours so it shows red on this widget all right so that's how it works now uh let's go back let's go to the other reports we have also reports here to pull the number of hours by the project so it will automatically give us a number of hours as the team are um, linking their hours to the project. So they do that here on the sub item when they are linking the pro their, their logged hours over to, the, to this column. So that will automatically uh, go or that, that will automatically be pulled in this report. Same for the company. Um, 
it will just give us the number of hours um, by the company. So these are the possible reports that we can do um, using the Monday dashboard. Now this one right here is a report that compares the projected hours for uh, versus the actual hours. And this is, is divided by um, the projects. So for example, this one, the new request that we did, um, the projected hours was um, seven hours, but um, the, per the person assigned only spent five hours to complete the project. So that's a great way to, um, uh, to see or have a bird's eye view of the projects and see the number of hours, the projected hours and the actual hours. All right, so that that is it. I hope you like it. And thank you so much for watching. So I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.